Hey everybody, Zach the Gunsmith here again. Um, right now we're going to talk about our last stain and finish product that's currently commercially available. We're working on other things, but you're just going to have to wait until we're happy with those. So this is our amber finishing oil. Um, if you've watched our red finishing oil video, I made brief mention of this. This is also an oil finish that is fortified and has dryers added to it. Again, depending on what we're doing, sometimes we will add additional dryers to this in small amounts as we're using it in a little medicine cup or what have you. Um, this is for if we're doing, and as much as I love Germanic styled rifles and other guns, the one thing I tend not to like about them is their blonde coloration. But if you are really trying to do something in the style of, or you have a piece of walnut that's already richly toned, what have you, using this can be used by itself just as a finish it's just a uh, you know hand rubbed oil finish what have you or if you start with our red finishing oil and you've achieved the color you want you can switch over to this and it's not going to change the color appreciably it has an amber tone uh, like any oil does you're not going to get a true oil finish that's just dead clear. Um, if you want that, you're going to have to get plastic, and that's going to hide wood way more than oil does. Um, we've used this as an only product on wood, and we've used it sanding in finishes. We've used it very sparingly, uh, hand rubbed a drip at a time with a lot of friction to get it polished in leaving pores unfilled we've done super wet coats you know uh, keeping the surface wet for half an hour to an hour and then burnishing it back and allowing it to dry and repeating until until the pores are filled um, we've used it along with plaster of paris for pore filling what have you um it dries fairly quickly because of the dryers in it but um again it's uh, everything you know everything is dependent on condition if you have a drying room it's different um we have a high uv area we can hang stuff in or keep stuff warm or what have you but we don't do any what one would call fast finishes in our shop anyways and the stuff we produce we produced for ourselves first um and then offered to other gunsmiths and now just to the general public so if you're interested in trying this out you can get it in our shop or on our website at blackforge.com b-l-a-k-f-o-r-g-e.com you can get a hold of me on my Instagram at Zach the Gunsmith or on our Facebook page at Black Forge Armory. And let us know what you're looking for. We have four offerings right now. And uh, we hope to expand to that soon, but we're just not quite there yet with consistency. Um, you'll be the first to know when we get there. So. Get some, try it out, experiment with it, let us know what you think. Uh, we're always happy to hear about other people's experiences with the stuff that we made for ourselves and we're happy enough to sell to the public. So thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you again soon.